Everyone, as we continue to track Dorian at this point, this storm has maintained and started to uh, con you know, continue to see that forward momentum that we've been expecting. It's currently moving at 17 miles per hour to the northeast, so it's gained a little bit of extra speed since last check when we were on the air earlier this morning, which will take. And now that it's made its landfall, it's only going to continue to get swept further and further out to sea. Still a Category 1 hurricane expected to maintain that Cat 1 strength, even though it is a far pass from our coastline. It's still a large storm. It's still a cat one hurricane, so it's still going to produce those impacts we had talked about. And there are more that we didn't even get to, so we're going to outline all of those for you right now. Here's a look at the localized zoom on storm scan. Still finding these showers, and they are working their way far enough in then inland that places like Philadelphia County are seeing a little bit of just very light showers. The really heavy stuff is primarily offshore, which is a good thing, but it is likely that we are going to pick up at least a few tenths of an inch worth of accumulating rain at the immediate coastline. And because of all of those waves getting shoved up on the shoreline because of the wind. We are expecting six to 10 foot breaking waves. So a high surf advisory is still posted for all of the Delaware beaches down to Sussex County and then up the Jersey Shore as well with minor beach erosion possible as we had mentioned. And I really just don't want to see you enter the waves. I saw one or two people doing it on our cameras. Big Brother's watching. Don't do it, guys. It's not worth it. It's too dangerous. No guards, obviously, on on, uh, on the beaches right now. But uh, it's such a high rip current risk. I just want you to be safe. Let's take a look at future rain amounts, though. This is a model's projection. It's a little bit reduced from what it had been earlier this morning, but still a few tenths of an inch are likely to fall at the area shoreline as we look from Delaware up Jersey here. Further inland you go, it's uh, it's a drop in the bucket. There's not much to track here. But if you look really closely, you can see a few little dots on the camera lens. So a light shower has, in fact, worked its way through Philadelphia right now. This is a live look from our rooftop in the neighborhood network. And as the day goes on, the further inland you are, the less likely it is you see any precip but anyone technically is fair game as the storm rotates offshore. Here's a look at the current temperature readings. They haven't moved very much. It's feeling kind of cool outside, and with all those clouds in place and virtually no sunshine, you're going to notice that it does feel a little on the chilly side, especially when that wind kicks up and especially the closer you get to the shoreline. However, in time for Friday football frenzy that we've got going on as Strathaven takes on Ridley in Wallingford, it's a cool and granted still breezy evening, and there may be a stray shower, but all things considered, it's not a bad forecast just based on the fact that there's a hurricane storm rolling offshore. We'll take this, right? So you got to look at it uh, from a perspective standpoint. The game day forecast, I mean, what more could you ask for? Perfect way to kick off the season. Some sunshine on Sunday afternoon at 78 degrees, and that's actually our projected high right now. There may be some passing showers on Monday. As we hit Tuesday, the temperatures are having a chance to warm back up again to even slightly above average. And uh, we may see a late day thunderstorm on Wednesday. But the, the key here is this, that thankfully, Dorian is a glancing blow at worst. It's mainly a front loaded forecast and then it progressively does get better over the span of the weekend. So much better timing. In terms yeah, of that. all in all, a good weekend for us. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Katie. And